What's going on, everybody? Jay here from SmartHelping.com. I got a cool expense tracker to talk to you about today. This is a template for a $45 one-time fee, and it can track your expenses by categories over time. I tried to make it super robust, and uh, we'll go through it. I did make it in Google Sheets and in Excel. Uh, now, note the Excel version does have dynamic ranges, but we'll get into that in a minute. And if you can't use dynamic ranges, then that's okay. It just affects the last two tabs. Okay, so first tab, data. Here you can enter all your different expenses, any any type, um, and you can enter the category of the expense. So this would be like your accounting category. You can add new categories here in the validation tab, column A, and these this should be where you have a, a unique list of all your accounting categories that you want to categorize your expenses into. So this pulls from that tab. If you add more, you can see here, test, test two, it adds, and then those will now be part of, you know, you can select those. If you do start entering data in here, you can see um, it'll show up. So if I enter a T, it shows anything that starts with a T or you know, starts entering O, and there it is, and then you can select it. Uh, so you enter the, the description, the high-level category that you're going to report on, the amount of the expense, and the date, and that's it. Then the model will automatically update your expenses. It organizes the expenses in alphabetical order and in a unique list here. Then these formulas all automatically work, and you'll get the sum of all of your different expenses in each month over time and this is I did up to 255 well minus five so about 250 unique expense categories that's probably overkill like in your QuickBooks statements you probably don't have over 100 150 fixed expense categories uh, so I did overkill up to 250 this will show the total per month by category it'll sum up the totals here and also you can put in a budget monthly budget for your total expenses then based on that there's some cool visualizations so you can see your monthly expenses in red and the actual budget each month, this dotted line in blue. And it would change automatically if these, let's say this was 5,000 for February. You can see now my February budget's way up here. So that'll automatically change. The amounts change if the amounts go over 5,000. The chart automatically updates its ranges. Um, so that's cool. Also, you've got an annual summary of all the, the total uh, amounts of each expense category, the total up here, and the budget you can define for each year. And there is a visualization for the annual expenses as well. And these automatically change as your budget numbers and actuals uh, change. Now, finally, I did a filter detail here. So you can actually look at specific expense categories, and it'll automatically show you those items. So here, and it sorts it by the date, and the most recent date will be at the top. You can also do another filter here by the expense category, but now it filters based on the highest amount at the top. So you can see this is filtering by amount. And that's pretty much it. It's a, in the, it's a nice expense log. You enter your expenses here. You've got your nice summary, monthly and annual, very clean. And then you've got some visuals, budget versus actual. Um, so yeah, as clean cut as I could get. Now, if you want to see the Excel version, we can look at that. It works the same way. You enter your expense description, the category here, and you can update that in the validation tab, uh, if whatever categories you have for your business for expenses. You put in the amount here, the date, then we've got monthly expenses. All these formulas are already working. They're all automated. You can just put in the, the start date of your forecast, or not your forecast, your tracking period here. The, the budget, annual, same deal. It shows visualizations. The format's a little bit different, but still works the same way. And then you've got filters. Now here's the part. So Excel cannot do automatic filters in the base version. You have to be part of... Uh, Office 365 and be part of the Office Insiders program to use it, the Excel version uh, that has these filter functions. Now it's free to join the Office Insiders program uh, and then obviously Office, Office 365 costs some annual fee. I don't know how much it is. 
Uh, now, if you don't want, if you don't have that, that's fine. You just won't be able to use these last two filter tabs. And you can always just use the Google Sheet version I just went over, and that's free as long as you have a Google uh, Google account. All right, well, that's all I got for you. You can buy the template, this template in the description box below, and I will take suggestions for any other features you think would be useful in this template. Uh, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.